In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the passenger side front brake flex hose on your Dodge Ram located behind your front wheel. Using our 7-8 socket, we're going to go ahead and loosen and remove our lug nuts. With the lug nuts removed, let's go ahead and remove that wheel and set it aside. Using our 12 millimeter wrench, we wanna go ahead and loosen this nut, securing the hard line to the flex line union here. Now I went ahead and soak this with some rust penetrant so we can go ahead and loosen this. You wanna make sure that you have a catch can or a bucket, maybe some towels underneath to catch some of the residual brake fluid that is going to come out of this line. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect our ABS connector right here. We're going to use our trim tool to get underneath the button and just go ahead and pop that out. Just pull that off to the side. The ABS wire will pop out of the securing loops on the flex hose bracket. Use our 15 millimeter socket, loosen and remove the caliper hard line bolt here. When you remove this here, you wanna go ahead and identify the copper washers. It's gonna be one on this side of the block here and one on the bolt side. Using a 13 millimeter socket, go ahead and loosen and remove this bolt. Go ahead and remove the brake flex hose and set that aside. Insert the tab into the hole in the frame down below. Take your bolt, line that up. You can get that bolt started, but we're not gonna tighten it down yet. Take your bolt, new copper washer, put that on the bolt. Feed that through the block. Copper washer on the opposite side. Line that up onto the caliper and get that bolt started. I like to go ahead and thread these down as far as I can by hand. And then we'll go ahead and snug that down. At this point here, go ahead and tighten down this bolt. Then I wanna go ahead and get our fitting here threaded into the block. I wanna get that started by hand. And then we can come back and tighten that up with our wrench. Make sure that's good and tight. Wipe down any excess brake fluid that's on there. We want to give this a quick spray down with the solvent to clean any of that brake fluid off there. Don't forget to install your ABS wire. Pop this into the retainers here. I like to go ahead and use a pair of pliers or something to go ahead and pinch those slightly. You don't want to crush the wire. just enough to hold it in place. And at the back section right here, don't forget to install your retainer clip right here. We simply line that up and wiggle that clip back into this bracket. Like so. You wanna go ahead and torque down the hose bolt here to the caliper to 15 foot pounds. This point here, use a 10 millimeter wrench or your socket. I want to get loosened the bleeder screw. Put that on there and turn that counterclockwise. And what we're doing here is we want to make sure, see if we have any air bubbles coming out of here. 
You're gonna let those run briefly. I see a couple of air bubbles coming out. And you wanna let that flow until the air bubbles stop. You want a set steady stream of fluid coming out of that. Now we have a steady stream of fluid coming out. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. You wanna go ahead and go under the hood, check your brake fluid there. Top off the fluid as necessary. Now underneath the hood, you're gonna go ahead and locate your brake master cylinder, your reservoir right here with the fluid in it. Now there's a minimum line right here and a max line right here. Our fluid has leaked down a bit, so I wanna go ahead and top off that fluid before we go any further. So just remove that cap. Use the appropriate fluid recommended for the product, for the Dodge product here. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the max line and install our cap again. After you've checked your fluid and everything has been topped off, go ahead and pump up the brakes. If the brake pedal feels pretty solid, go ahead and install your wheel. If the brake pedal is spongy, you wanna go ahead and begin your brake bleeding process for all of the wheels until that system is completely void of air bubbles. Go ahead and grab that wheel. And we're gonna go ahead and get that installed. Get all of our lug nuts started by hand. Once we have all these on, we're gonna go ahead and snug them down. Let's go ahead and torque down our lug nuts to 135 foot-pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.